Hi, I'm August Cedarstrand from Edelbrock, and this is SEMA 2014. What well, we came up new for this year to go with our Edelbrock Hemi heads we came out with last year, our Edelbrock Victor Junior Hemi heads, was a new dual quad single plane manifold. All right, uh, we felt there was a niche for this manifold in the big thing that we have the same center to center distance, fore aft everything as the stock factory dual quad dual plane manifold. Okay, so a customer who has his Hemi Cuda, his GTX, his air grabber car, whatever can put his stock air cleaner on and shut the hood. Same height, fore and aft distance, everything. That's where the similarities end, all right? We, came, we made it into a dual quad single plane air gap style manifold, so we're not getting the hot oil on the bottom. And the proof was in the pudding when it came to the dyno. So on Mopar Performance's 528 crate motor, one makes 610 horsepower, this manifold just bolting on made 38 more horsepower than the factory dual quad dual plane manifold. Then we tried it against stage five single plane dual quad manifold, made 28 more horsepower than that. And then for laughs, we put on a big single plane indie manifold with a 1050 dominator and made 22 more horsepower than that. And it all fits under the hood. And the icing on the cake at that point is it's also available for EFI applications. So if a customer wants, hey, I'm building a 572, I'm gonna put it in my whatever Chrysler and I want EFI, no problem, we have it. He puts two throttle bodies on it, he's down the road. And his air cleaner goes on. The idea for this manifold came out of the SEMA show last year in 2013. We debuted our Hemi heads, like, hey, we need to follow this up with an intake manifold. So about February of 2014, this year, we all sat down there in the engineering department and said, okay, what are we gonna make? Are we gonna make a big race manifold? Are we gonna make a dual plane manifold? And we came up with this one, the dual quad single plane, figuring, hey, these heads that we've come up with are tailored for the guys who are building the four and a half inch bore aftermarket Hemi blocks, all right? Well, we need a manifold that's gonna move enough air for a guy who's building a 520, a 540, a 572 or bigger, but still being able to keep it under the hood. Now, of course, when we did that, have the same center to center spacing, well, our performer carburetors fit, so do our fuel line kits and our adjustable linkage. Also with that, we came up with a new style coil mount Rather than having the cast coil mount into the manifold like the factory ones do, we figured, hey, if a guy's going to use this maybe for semi-racing, things like that, he doesn't have to have the big coil in the front. He has a removable mount because not every guy's put it in the front. But if the guy's doing more of a stock deal, he's got the option to bolt it on the front of the manifold. We did do a couple things different. I mean, it still has the whole locations for the stock Hemi linkage and throttle return springs, so on and so forth. But Rather than having different height bolts like a factory 426, we have all the same bolt heights and we will include bolts with the manifold. So it takes the guesswork out of it for the customer. This manifold, like all other products that we make, is made here in the USA at our own foundry. We cast them out there. It's 365A aluminum, heat treated to Rockwell T6, fully machined and packaged in our facilities here in California. So. We hope it's going to be a good mover for folks who want to uh, retain a stock look but still have the power that the larger cubic inch Hemis of today can make.